Hello again guys. Today is going to be a really interesting video. I'm here in London at the Ubuntu Phone event, and as you can see before me, I have the first Ubuntu Phone. The actual Ubuntu Phone. Now, if you end up purchasing this Ubuntu Phone, this is not what you're going to get, unfortunately. This is uh, specifically uh, only for the Insiders event that I'm at, but I thought I would just go ahead and open it for you because it is a really interesting and unique looking package. Now, I'm going to call this a pseudo unboxing because technically I've actually already opened the package. The the guys from Ubuntu asked if I would do it on camera just so they could get a little bit of footage for for the unboxing. But I went ahead and packaged it all back up. I looked at it very minimally and so now we're going to take a little more in-depth look at this box. So yeah, this is the Ubuntu phone. If you're not familiar with it already, it's the BQ Aquarius E45 or 4.5. There we go. Uh, and this is this weird little origami puzzle that they kind of put together for it. Very interesting little concept there. So yeah, here is envelope. Probably got some personal stuff in it. Yeah, basically just a just a letter from Mark Shuttleworth. You know, don't worry about it. And here we go. This is the device itself. As you can see, the Aquarius E45. I guess E4.5 is probably what I would call it from BQ. Uh, the CEO of BQ, I believe, was here, Rodrigo. Uh, he gave a little speech at the Insiders event, so very nice to get to see their thoughts and opinions on the subject. This is a bit unexpected. I will say that I, I did see it ahead of time, but I didn't get a chance to really look at it. A pair of very interesting looking headphones. It says Urban Ears. That's a brand I've actually never used, so it'll be interesting to try these out and just see how they look and how they feel and how they sound. They're on ear, so they're not massive or anything. Maybe try them on the plane on the way home, right? But anyway, the thing that you all are here for, and just so you're aware, there's, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else in this box, just a massive amount of foam. So we'll go ahead and move all this off to the side. So now for the main event, the meat and potatoes, as it were, the Aquarius E45. This box is very, very tight. Now there was a um, shrink wrap on the screen, there was a, a piece of plastic on the screen. I went ahead and pulled that off earlier just because it looked a little bit rough. But there you go. Uh, flat black screen, you've got your front facing camera up here, you know, speaker. Uh, speakers down here, there's not front facing speakers, micro USB. Here we have dual SIM slots. I'm going to have to get my paper clip out and open these up and see uh, if there's something inside of this one because this one has actually popped out a little bit. Oh, I just Gave it a little pressure and it went right back in, no problem. Here on the back we have the camera with a dual LED flash, BQ branding, Aquarius E45, power button volume rocker here on the side, and now, just, you know, because this is probably what you all are here for, start this puppy up. And I guess while we wait for that to start up, because when I started it up before, I did a, a factory reset afterwards, so it's going to take a little while. And I've told the, uh, the, the people from Canonical about that and they're aware of it. There you go. Ubuntu phone, life at your fingertips. You've got a little fingertip guide there, how-tos, edge magic, stuff like that. You've got in here the standard stuff you would expect to find with any sort of phone. You've got your wall charger, which is not going to do me a whole lot of good because that's that's uh, European. And then you've got your micro USB cable. There you go, micro USB. Let's see how long this sucker is. Yeah, I would say that's probably two feet, something like that. It's not quite three feet long. So let's go ahead and put this off to the side. It looks like the phone's almost ready to be done starting up. And there you go. Hi, let's get you started using your Ubuntu phone. So I hit that. It says add a SIM card and restart your device. I'm not going to do that right now. I do have a SIM I can stick in it, but I'm not going to do that. We're not going to turn on security right now. I can do that later. And since I am staying in Le Meridian, I'm going to go ahead and connect to their Wi-Fi. Hopefully that'll work. Allow apps to use the Wi-Fi? Sure. And nice work, we're all done. There you go. I will say that that startup experience, the first time, it does take quite a little while. I mean, we're, we are talking only about a minute and a half, but still. There you go. So that's the Ubuntu phone. And it gives you this little intro here. You can do the right edge swipe to unlock the phone. It's going to tell you how to swipe down from the top edge. It's going to tell you to close things by swiping up to to close the setting screen and then swipe from the left edge to get the launcher for quick apps. Well done, you've mastered the edge gestures. I do remember seeing this when it first became available, the this you know startup intro thing, very very handy and actually during the event they mentioned that uh, they're gonna have when these actually show up on on retail shelves before too much longer they're going to have a sort of a quiz I think on the device with some games and stuff 
that will assess your readiness for actually using Ubuntu phone. But anyway, here you go, we're at the Today's Scope. You've got some Google Sync settings you can do. You can track, ooh, tracking your activity with Fitbit. That's really interesting. I wonder if it can sync with the device. I'll have to try that out later. I will be doing more detailed info on this down the road. I'm gonna skip it and set this up later, I think. Actually, maybe I'll just leave that alone. But yeah, there you go. You can manage your home screens by swiping up on that Today screen. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, you've got your, your different sources. And one of the big hot button issues with the, this later version of Ubuntu Touch or Ubuntu for phones, I think is what they're calling it now, is that almost everything is a scope. You know, you've got your nearby, you've got a bunch of different apps you can call out to. A lot of these are just going to be wrappers around web pages, but the nearby scope will find things around you. You've got your apps, which actually have apps or have HTML5 wrapped, you know, web pages, things like that. Then you swipe on over, if I can get it to do it. There we go, news. And the news is curatable. You can actually go in here and turn on and off the things that you want to see. I asked about adding other sources into this. And they said that was something that developers are going to be able to do. And over time, there may be a way for users to, to be able to do it as well. Then once you go on over, you got music. Music doesn't actually have anything showing up quite yet. Uh, probably not receiving any actual data because uh, while I did sign into the hotel's Wi-Fi, I didn't log into it. I think you have to give them information about what room you're in and everything. But anyway, there's the sites it's going to be pulling music from. And then there's a video scope which, it, again, not pulling any data, but these are the two sites it's going to try to. I think there's more video sources available, but I haven't seen them yet. And then you've got your photo scope, where you can add in Flickr, Facebook, Instagram, other things of that nature. There you go. Local, Facebook, Flickr, Instagram. And hopefully there'll be more sources for that available as well. Honestly, I don't think the sources that I'm interested in are going to be showing up on a lot of these, unfortunately, because I'm a massive Google user, so I would expect Google+, Plus. I would expect... Um, I think Gmail does work with this. I'll have to give it a shot. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this, things that you'd like to see talked about, things you'd like to just know about it, definitely let me know down in the comments. But you know what? I'm actually going to be heading back to the Ubuntu event because it's still in progress. I was just that excited about it. I had to come back to the room. I had to go ahead and make a video about this. And hopefully you're excited about this as I am. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be about all for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave any questions, comments, concerns down in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.